कॉम्बिनेशन सम लीड को थर्टी नाइन वट वी विल यूज वी विल यूज द बैक ट्रैकिंग अप्रोच वी हैव फॉल्ड प्लेंटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन द पास विद रिस्पेक्ट टू बैक ट्रैकिंग एंड दिस इज द सेम लॉजिक दैट वी हैव दैट वी हैव बीन यूजिंग इन ऑल द बैक ट्रैकिंग प्रॉब्लम सो इफ यू आर अन अवेयर ऑफ बैक ट्रैकिंग इन जनरल दैन दिस इज द वीडियो फॉर यू दिस इज अ वीडियो ऑन कॉम्बिनेशन सम थ्री दैट वी सॉल्व इन सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी and again we'll use the same pattern for those who are new and unaware of this technique let's walk through an example and get a good hold of the concept so let's get started and let's take the same example that was specified in the question here the input elements are 2 3 6 7 and the target sum that we are looking for is 7 so let's get started by default let's consider the case that we have not filled any of the element into our uh, final subset that that is going to sum to 7 so the default case would be an empty array and let's get started the first element that we see is 2 so let's go and add 2 to it so 2 gets added and the total sum of this sub array becomes 2 let's proceed ahead uh next again what we are going to do we'll again add 2 so 2 plus 2 becomes 4 the total sum is 4 so right now we have added 2 2 times and let's proceed ag ahead again we'll going to add 2 again and the total sum would become 6 what do you see so far so far the sum is less than the target sum that means we still have possibility to add more elements so again we will go ahead and add 2 to it so once we have added 2 what is the total sum the total sum becomes 8 and this condition may is an abortion condition because the total sum of this subset has become equal to 8 which is greater than the target that we have been looking for as a result of it it's an invalid combination we need to revert back or backtrack to the previous state so let's go back to the previous state so where are we we are at 2 comma 2 comma 2 we have deleted the last element from the array and let's proceed ahead the next in the array we see is 3 so we'll go ahead and add 3 to it what will be the total sum 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma 3 the total sum would be equal to 9 again the same condition 9 happens to be greater than 7 as a result of which it's an invalid scenario again what we need to do we need to backtrack to the previous state so let's delete the last element which is 3 deletion is very important which people tend to forget so again we are going back to the same state 2 comma 2 comma 2 what is the next element the next element is 6 so what we will do we'll add 6 to it 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 6 is 12 and this combination of triple 2 comma 6 is also invalid so again what we need to do we need to backtrack back so let's delete the last element and we'll go back to the previous state which is this one let's proceed ahead the next element that we see is 7 so we'll add 7 what will be the total sum that we'll get we'll get 13 because 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma 7 gives us 13 so right now we haven't found out any of the possibility for our answer as a result of which again we need to backtrack delete the newly added element that was 7 and we are back on the previous state which is this one now since we have iterated over all the possibilities uh, there is no way out in which you can generate an answer using 2 comma 2 comma 2 as a result of which we simply need to backtrack to the previous state when i say backtracking i simply mean that we need to delete the last entry that the last element that we added in the current state which is 2 comma 2 so we are back over to here and now what we are going to do we we'll look out for more possibilities this complete graph was for 2 comma 2 comma 2 which all of you will agree now we will look out for the next element the next element in the queue is 3 so let's add 3 here so let's go and add 3 what do we get 2 comma 2 comma 3 gives us 7 awesome we found one possibility of the answer and this will become part of the answer set so 2 comma 2 comma 3 becomes part of the answer pretty simple and straightforward no rocket science let's proceed ahead going further there are two possibilities either to branch out from this subset 2 comma 2 comma 3 which we can't do and we should not do because in the question it was specified that all the elements would lie in the range of 1 to 100 that simply means that adding more elements to the data set will never lead to the target sum of 7 because these three elements in itself contribute to the sum of 7 if we add more elements to it it will definitely gonna exceed the target that we are looking for as a result of which 
we will simply backtrack go back to the previous state so let's go back to the previous state let's delete the last element and we are back over here starting from here let's proceed ahead let's look out for the next possibility which is six so let's just write some the next test case over here we have two comma two comma six what do we get the total sum happens to be equal to 12 uh, since the total sum uh, the total sum happens to be equal to 10 since 10 happens to be greater than 7 we'll simply backtrack we'll simply delete the last element and revert back to the previous state which is 2 comma 2 let's proceed ahead next we see is 7 so let's branch out for 7 the total sum turns out to be equal to 11 as a result of which we again have to backtrack and delete 7 from the subset we are back to the previous state now we have iterated through all the possibilities for 2 comma true graphical structure again there are no more elements beyond 7 as a result of which we again will be backtracking to the previous state when i say backtracking i have to delete the newly added element in the last which is this two so this gets deleted and we are back onto this particular state for the rest of the graph that will exist over here you can yourself build it uh, we'll exactly follow the same steps as we have done here uh, let's just reiterate over them maintain the current state of the object loop through all the possible sample set that we have add a new element to the sample set recursively invoke for the next entry and don't forget remove the last element that was added in the sample set these are the exactly same steps that we have done here and you can build the rest of the graph by yourself here it will start from 2 comma 3 then 2 comma 6 and moving on uh, the entire tree can be completed you will see the next possibility for 7 will only exist when we only have one singular element that is 7 in totality there are two possibilities that we could figure out that will contribute to the answer 2 comma 2 comma 3 and the singular 7 to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and let's have a final look here what i have done i have created the result array list that will actually store the result if my candidates or the element data set that i have happens to be of zero length i simply return it back otherwise i go and create the combination sum helper this helper method is exactly on the same approach that we have been doing in all the backtracking solutions so the first one is the input data set the next one is the target that we are looking for followed by the current sum that we are currently at by default it will be set to zero and next one is a new array list why a new array list but because by default no element has been added to it followed by the index over which we are currently looking for in the candidates array so in totality there are five parameters of this helper method and uh, once i have iterated through this helper method i will simply re return back the result so let's have a look at this helper method the algo boils down to writing this appropriately the corner case here is if my index happens to be greater than or equal to candidate slot length that means i have exceeded uh, the index value versus the candidate slot length i simply abort the process otherwise i look out for my current sum what is my current sum if my current sum happens to be greater than target again that's an abortion condition we have to revert back to the previous state so i'll simply return otherwise i go and check if my current sum happens to be equal to target that means i found out one possibility of the answer i'll add it to my result so result.add new array list and you'll pass in the subset that has been passed over here and once we have done that i'll simply re revert back because no more elements can be added because adding more elements can never lead to the answer let's proceed ahead this is the crux of the problem you start a for loop starting from i equals to index i is less than candidate dot length i plus plus you go and add the new element into your subset which is candidates at the ith index and you recursively invoke it for the further operations you pass in candidates target the current sum gets updated with uh, current sum plus candidates at the ith index similarly you pass in the subset and the same value of i once you are done with it you simply remove the last element that has been added into your subset guys this is the same template that we have been doing it we have solved more than 20 questions on this. I'm attaching the link in the playlist below. I hope you have a great time going through it after this question. So let's try this up. Accepted. It is pretty fine. Probably I'm connected to VPN and that's why it's showing the delay, but never mind.
this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye